The last section of this chapter is on fermentation. Fermentation is also known as anaerobic respiration. So if you remember the four stages of respiration, the first one was glycolysis, and we said it is the only stage that does not require oxygen. So fermentation is when a cell goes through glycolysis and then it goes another route in place of going to the link reaction because there isn't any available oxygen for the cell to use to take it through the other three stages of respiration. So there are two types of fermentation. One type is lactic acid. Now, if you recall, in glycolysis, we took um, the gluco glucose and we broke it down into pyruvic acid. In lactic acid fermentation, the pyruvic acid is then broken down into lactic acid. Now, contrary to what people used to believe, people used to say that if you um, went on a really long hike or a hard bike ride or did a really hard workout, your muscle soreness um, the next several days afterwards was due to a lactic acid buildup, and that is actually not correct. So if you believe that, I want to clear that up for you. Um, lactic acid is not responsible for muscle soreness. If you're sore, um, after a workout, it's because you've done some little micro tears in your muscle fibers, not because there's, uh, there's lactic acid buildup. Instead, if you're in the middle of a hard workout and um, like you do tons and tons and tons of push-ups, and then all of a sudden your arms start burning, that's the lactic acid, that burning sensation that you have. And that's the signal to your body that says, um, once it starts burning so much, eventually you just have to quit and it will make you stop and have a recovery period. And the reason is so that that lactic acid then will be converted back into pyruvic acid and then the situation will change once there's more oxygen available and then the pyruvic acid will then go through the link reaction, the Krebs cycle and electron transport chain in aerobic respiration like we talked about yesterday, okay? The point is just that um, when it does this, it's able to make more um, NAD plus so that the body can keep making more and more energy um, even if there's not a lot of oxygen available. It can do that short term. Um, it obviously isn't going to be very effective long term because as we saw, the vast majority of ATP is made um, in the, that last stage in the electron transport chain. So it's making ATP, but it's not nearly as efficient as when oxygen is available. The other type of fermentation is alcohol fermentation, and it's done um, mostly all by yeast. And we will study yeast quite a bit more when we get into the chapter on fungus. Um, in this type of fermentation, pyruvic acid is turned into ethyl alcohol and carbon dioxide. So when you take yeast and you um, are making bread with it, when the yeast reacts with the glucose, with the sugar, it, um, you don't see it bubble. Um, you will also notice that what happens is that if everything goes well, you put your bread in the oven and the bread rises, and it rises because of the carbon dioxide that's being released in the reaction. The yeast feed on the sugar, the carbon dioxide is given off as a product. Um, now, interestingly enough, you may be trying to say, okay, well, um, when I'm making bread and I'm doing this, um, how come I don't get drunk when I eat bread if there's alcohol in it? Well, when you bake it, all of that alcohol evaporates and the carbon dioxide, again, is what is used to, to make the bread rise. When you bake the bread, the yeast gets killed. Um, you may also be aware that yeast is used to ferment beer and to ferment wine. And interestingly enough, um, yeast, again, feeds on the sugar in the in whatever you're making the beer or the wine out of, and eventually a high enough alcohol content will kill the yeast. So it can only go so far, and then if um, a higher alcohol con content is desired, then they actually have to distill it down in order to make there to be more alcohol um, per unit of, of the beverage that they're making. Okay, so two types of fermentation, lactic acid, uh, which is done by, um, by animal cells, and then um, alcohol fermentation, which is primarily done by yeast. So now we're at the end of the chapter, and you may be going, oh my goodness, this has been um, a lot of complicated stuff. No doubt that it has been. How do you study for the test? Um, same way you always study for the test. You're going to focus on your, on your own questions, and you're going to focus on your study guide questions, the things that we've talked about um, on the videos. Concentrate on those things, and I know that you're going to do well.